Hello and welcome to more Super Mario All-Stars! We're back again in Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels, and we're here in World 5. Now this stage, just in the little, they give you a little picture at the start of the stage, and that little picture happened to have some Hammer Bros, which are my most hated enemy, so I'm guessing they're gonna be here pretty prevalently. We've also got these red piranha plants in upside-down pipes, which is kind of ridiculous, but nothing too crazy so far. I mean, I guess piranha plants in upside-down pipes is a little bit crazy, but Nothing, nothing we can't handle. Let's see, can we get up there? Yes, we can get those high jumps. This one bullet bill is just like zipping along, man. That cannot possibly be the end. Okay, never mind. Now begins one of the things a lot of people don't like about this game. There is a wind mechanic. So we have to deal with that to get some extra speed for our jumps right here. Thankfully, it does not last too long here, but I think it does come back eventually. So we'll have to watch out for wind mechanics. Yeah, get ready for that, guys. We got some wackadoodle stuff in this crud. That's all right. Let's just uh, try not to die to these brown plants. I'm not seeing any hammer bros, which I am not complaining about. I would gladly just never see those guys again. Wait, are we about to beat the stage without without hammer bros? Nope, that is not the end. They keep trolling me. They keep making me think it's the end of the stage, but it's not. We have to deal with these crutters. Okay, gosh dang it. Where are hammer bros at? That, what? Is, that's a wall. That's just a big old wall. Okay, there's going to be some invisible blocks, obviously. So let's try to jump up there. Let's see, where is it? There we go. Let's see, is there one down here to make this jump easier? Nope, we just have to deal with those high jumps. I'm not very good at making these high jumps because it's hard to get enough speed. Eh, okay, come on. Eh, oh, jeez. I think if we jump like this, we can get more momentum. If we jump at the wall and then... Oh, gosh, dang it. This is going to be... just me jumping at a block for the next two minutes. Come on, man. Who the crud designed this? Who designed this? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, if we do the advanced tactics of bouncing off of the wall... There we- oh, 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 it's gonna work. It's gonna work, guys. Oh, there you go. We did it. We jumped on a wall. Oh, oh gosh, we're actually running out of time. That is a factor, but it's okay. We, we got it done. We got the stage done. Not gonna run out of time. Oh, man. You know, guys, the stage kind of looking like real life right now for me. Snow everywhere. Ooh, going on to 5-2 in that one is the pipe stage, because back in 4-2 there was no, or not pipe stage, but cave stage. Um, but yeah, 4-2 did not have a cave stage in this game, so I guess it's gonna be 5-2 this time, and that's a poison mushroom, fantastic! Yeah, a lot of the times they'll hide the mushrooms in, like the, the good mushrooms, not the poison ones, they'll hide the good mushrooms in like regular blocks, just to trick you, and they'll hide the poison mushrooms in the obvious stuff. You know, because it's some next level Mario crud, you know, they, they know that you're gonna try to go for those question mark blocks, so they're gonna hide bad stuff in there, which I think, oh crud, I forgot. Red Koopas do not walk off the side. There we go. But yeah, it's kind of it's kind of funny how they like to troll you like that. This game is full of trolls. You got little side rooms that are bad. You've got, like what happened before where I found a secret, but it actually took me back to World 1. Stuff like that. But that can't possibly be it. No way. That was way too easy, man. Is World 5 just like randomly a pretty easy world? Wow, that's the end. I, I guess World 5 might actually be pretty easy. I thought today would be the day where I finally had to do just one world in, in a video, but... I guess not. I mean, unless the last two stages are really hard, but I mean, we're only like three minutes in right now. We're already halfway through this world, so I just don't see that being a factor. Although we've got a moving platform stage right here. Oh, gosh dang it, Koopa bounced me too high. And that's gonna be our first game over for today, but that's okay. It's mostly because we just didn't have very many lives after after the last episode. We didn't really get our lives back, but that's okay. Let's just uh, wait for this guy. Not gonna jump on him this time. Okay, we've got Mr. We got Mr. Gooper Blooper guy, but that's fine. Now you could probably do this stage without the platform if you're like a speedrunner. Oh, I guess it'll vanish if we just wait too long. But uh, yeah, you could probably go along this without this crud if you're really good. Wait a second, is this a pick a path? Do we have to go inside that pipe back there? Gosh dang it. Okay, we have to get up there. They can never just make it obvious, can they? It's like, oh, this platform moves to the side. We'll just ride on top of it. Nope, nope. You have to go. You have to go into the pipe, which I'm assuming we have to get in there. Gosh dang it. I don't know where else we'd go. Crud. So what we're gonna try here is just leaving this platform behind, and then we'll try to jump on the Koopas like that, and there we go, we're up top. So let's see if this is what we needed to do. It, it might not look like much, it look, might look like that pipe just kind of leads back into some blocks in the floor, but no, it is actually a secret, and will that take us anywhere useful? I think it did. I think this put us further on in the stage. If not, then I, I guess that was a waste of time. No, it looks like we are, we are actually further here. So that's good. I don't think we have a lot of lives, so even if there's a checkpoint there, probably not going to do too much for us, but yeah, well. What the crud, what the crud? I guess we have to just time our jump with this red Koopa. There we go, jeez. Yeah, this crud is getting ridiculous. Not to mention there's bullet bills flying at us the whole time, although I think they stopped. And I hesitated right there because I didn't push the left block low enough. 
crud. Down to one life and we are back at the start. So whatever we did, it got us no checkpoints. Now, I don't even know if we have to go up here, but it sure feels like we do. So I guess it's, it's not even that hard to do. As long as you know what you're doing, you just wait for the Koopas and then you go. And on the bright side, we do get some coins every time, but I don't think there's enough coins here that even if we died four times, I don't think we'd get an extra life from that. So uh, as cool as it is, it's not that useful. Oh gosh, gosh dang it, Bullet Bill, go away, man. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Okay, let's go along the top path. Top paths are usually the way to go. Oh, okay, hopefully that guy was not important. Right, we just have to get the Koopa. There we go. Okay, so once we get to the droppy platform on the right here, we'll have to make sure we let this one drop a little bit so we can actually get up here. And there we go, 5-3 is completed. Moving on to 5-4. So pretty tough here, pretty tough, but nothing we can't handle. We got this crud. Did you guys see those fireworks? Oh, baby. What the crud? What are these starting platforms? Like, what is, how does Bowser design his crud? I hope he doesn't- whoever he pays to design this if he doesn't do it himself, hopefully he doesn't pay them a lot. Also, that was just a bad situation. And that is going to be yet another game over. Okay. Well, let's just run along here and hopefully not get killed by fireballs in the butt. Oh, <laughs> we'll just walk into the lava. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. Gotta- Whoa, be patient. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay, go, 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 go. I'm alive. There's a block down here. I'm alive. Uh, we gotta watch out for those fire bars on the right, but we also have to watch out for the fireballs on the middle. And hopefully this is safety. Yes. Okay, go. No, wait. Yes, yes. Looking good. Go up top. Oh, gosh. Big balls. Uh, fire balls. F fire bars. Big fire bars. Okay, now begins the fire of the Bowser variety. Which we have to now watch out for as we dodge all these crazy obstacles. Here we are! We made it! Okay, wait for him, wait for him. Yes, we got him! Stage 5, World 5 goes down, no problem. And yeah, even without any edits, the video is only 8 minutes right now. So with edits, it's probably like 5 or 6 minutes or something like that. So I think we're gonna have to go and do World 6 as well. Let's go get to it, guys. Because our princess, they're in another castle. Now this one, they're showing us Hammer Bros again. They showed us Hammer Bros back in 5-1, I think it was, and I didn't fight any Hammer Bros there as far as I can remember. So, uh, I guess we'll just have to hope that it's a lie. Whoa, 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 whoa! Give me that crud. Yep. Or that. I'll just break the block and then drop him on my head. Whoa! A one up here as well. I actually didn't get the star, man. It vanished before I got to it. But there's a lot of crud in these blocks here. Hmm. Alright, well, there's one up right there, so if we die again, we'll just, we'll know where to grab that one up. And we probably will die, considering there's Hammer Bros, but thankfully we got lucky and jumped right over his head. Oh, alright, ran too far to the right. Okay. Well, yeah, we know where that one up is, so we'll keep grabbing that one. Not that a game over really matters too much at this point, but might as well get it. So here's what we're gonna do, guys. We'll grab the mushroom. There we go. And now what we'll do is we'll break these blocks. Go ahead and let Mr. Paracoopa out. There you go, drop him down, and then let him jump along. And now, we'll go ahead and grab the Starman, although I want to get this one up as well if I can. Oh, is it gone? Oh, maybe it's only there once, I don't know. I don't know how that works, but yeah, now we're pretty safe to go, and if we do if we do this fast enough, we should be able to get that Hammer Bro. Yep, there we go. So, that star is basically like Hammer Bro protection. That's what we need to use it for. Let's get on top of this, get a running start, and there we go. Oh gosh, I would love to have a uh, fire flower for a section like that, but sadly we do not have one. Although there might be one inside. Yep, there it is, but how do we get up there? I don't think we can. I think we had to jump along on top of those uh, paracoopas to get up there. I don't, I don't see any other way to get up top there, so unfortunately we're going to have to leave that one behind, and the wind returns. Hopefully it does not last for too long, because that is some scary wind action. Oh gosh, I almost took some damage from that Piranha Plant, but somehow we dodged him. Somehow we dodged him, and that is 6-1 completed. Now, in this game, just beating a stage feels so good, because you know, once you beat that stage, you've got the checkpoints. So you do not have to worry about getting a game over after that point. And 6-2 is once again a water stage. Now, I gotta say, guys, I, I always complain about Hammer Bros so much. They've really not been that bad in this game so far. You know, even the stages that have them have just a couple of them. They don't just, like, spam Hammer Bros like they did back in World 8 of uh, the last game. So, I think it's alright, man. You know, like a Hammer Bro here and there, not too bad. Unless it's like that final Hammer Bro before Bowser on World 8-4 from the original game. That Hammer Bro is evil, but for the most part, one Hammer Bro is not too bad. Especially when they give you the option of a... Oh gosh. They give you the option to find a Starman to uh, get that power up. So you can just run into him. Don't even have to worry about dodging those hammers. Wait for that fish to go by. And I guess we'll just try to dodge Mr. Paratrooper here. There we go. Dodge these guys as well. Cool. Alright. Is it Paratrooper or Paracoopa? I'm guessing it's Paracoopa because... 
Koopas are not called Troopas, they're called Koopa Troopas. So I don't think it's gonna be Para Koopa Troopa, it's just gonna be Para Koopa, right? That makes logical sense to me. Let's see, are we safe to go up? I think that's it. And it is, cool, so 6-2 is down as well. All right, 6-3, oh no, we got those cheap cheeps, which are very cheap cheap, if you know what I'm saying, dude. They're, they're kinda, kinda some cheap enemies. They just like fly out of nowhere. Sometimes they fly at very bad spots, run right into your face, and to make things worse, you have to deal with all these crazy jumps and Koopas on the floor as you do it. Thankfully, there's not like also bullet bills flying at us or something like that. That would be true, what? <laughs> Come on. I was gonna say that would be truly evil, but I think cheap cheeps are cheap enough on their own that they're, they're they're the true face of evil by themselves. I mean, look at those faces, man. They're just ridiculous. So we'll just hopefully not have something like that happen. He just like popped out of the floor and killed me. This is why you wanna always be running. As soon as you stop, they're gonna find a way to kill you. Also, I guess we have to stop right there because the coop is in the way. Maybe if we jump on top of that block, that brick, and then uh, jump along that, that might work. Okay, strats, strats, there we go, jump on that brick block, jump on that brick block, and then we just keep going. Just gotta keep going, don't wanna deal with these cheap cheeps, dude. Come on, stage, and, whoa, what is these jumps? How did I get that first try? How did I get that first try, dude? That was awesome. All right, guys, as soon as we got past that one section, we did the, we did the next level strats, we got on top of the brick block, made the jump, as soon as we got past that, the rest of the stage was not too bad, although it looked kind of evil, I just somehow clutched it out and got all that crud, no problem. So, all right, we didn't die at the start, Kind of worried at some point I'm just gonna start dying at the start because they put some crazy jumps at the start of these stages and it looks like we got choose a path again and that was the wrong one apparently so every time we get it wrong we have to deal with the hammer bro that is the most evil punishment I can think of was that wrong again oh come on dude so we have to deal with the hammer bro a third time okay as long as we're fast I guess it's okay but let's go along the top then gosh dang it that is so evil making you deal with the hammer bro every time you goof that's ridiculous well, we're past the uh, starting point again. Oh, 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 not that. Not dealing with that. It already gave me the wrong sound. What the crud? Maybe there's a glitch you can do there. I wonder if you can just walk back and forth and beat that section. And then I... Oh, oh, okay. So you just have to go underneath the fire bar to begin with. You don't even have to do the rest. And if you do that, I guess then we have to go to the top path. I don't exactly know how this is working. Gosh dang it, I keep touching that. It's like well, two pixels on there. Down to our final life. I don't even think there are checkpoints in castles, though. I'm not really sure about that. Okay, we have to wait for this guy. Now we go, get the ding-dongs, get those ding-dongs, man. Yeah, this hammer row in particular is not that evil, so we're fine. Okay, I'm not gonna touch the stinking fire bar again. There we go, top path was the correct path. Um, I'm going to assume bottom path, because that one's more dangerous. Yep, usually the... Oh, gosh, game over. Usually the more dangerous path is the correct one. Go under the fire, go over the crud. Do not touch the fire bar. Good. Now we have to go through the piranha plant maze. Good. Now we have to not die by touching that guy. Good. Okay, now, now we're just going. Uh, okay, top path maybe? Please be top path? Wrong path, great. So we have to go through this again. Okay, so this is where we're getting put back to. Uh, let's see, how about the bottom? Gosh dang it, back to the start. See, getting the path wrong, you just have to repeat a small section. Dying, you have to repeat the entire stage. Okay, I'm gonna try the bottom path. It might be the middle path, I don't know, man. Okay, let's see, wait for him to go. And then we go. Come on. Yes, I was correct. Um, okay, I think we're good. I saw the Bowser fire, so I think that means we're done choosing paths. We just have to actually go. Gosh dang it, we were so close. We were right there. Start the whole stage over. Let's see. Yeah, start the whole stage over. Yeah, I don't think there's checkpoints in castles. Okay, so now we have to deal with this crud. No, I hesitated because the fire got spawned at the exact point I was going to jump into. Okay, no evil fire. No evil fire. We're even going to wait. No evil fire? Okay, that's evil fire. I was gonna jump right there. Okay, okay, stop stop putting it right there, buddy. Stop putting it right there. I'm gonna try to jump. Okay, that's that's fine. No, he put a second one. We're still fine. We're still fine. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, he's got the hammers. He's got those hammers. No, 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 not, not a good spot. Not a good spot. Yes, we got it. Okay. 6-4 is completed, guys. Now, I don't exactly remember if this game only has eight worlds. If it does, I think we'll beat the game next time. But there's also like the A world and stuff like that. So. I'll have to look up the how all the secrets work in this game, but however they do work, we will be playing all the stages, but we'll be coming back next time to see sta uh, World 7 here, and probably World 8 as well. So, I'll see you guys all then. Take care.